What are your chances of happiness? Do you have the drive and determination in order to be rich? What does it take to get that lucky ticket? How badly do you want its fortune? Well, Jim, there is only one way to find out. <laughs> That's right, Susanna. Welcome to the Weekly Lottery. Please welcome your veteran hosts for this evening, Jim and Susanna. Okay then, Susanna, why don't you take it away for the first spin of the day? It'll be my pleasure, Jim. This really is the best part of my week. And the first number is... 198. British Electricity, may I take your name and number? My name is Robert Hinch and uh, the number is uh, 41244562. What can I do for you? Top up please, just fast as you can. Is that direct payment or credit? Credit, Um, anything, five quid is fine. Your credit score is at three, zero, seven. Due to the nature of this score, we can yeah, only yeah, that's fine. Just do it, offer please. you credit. Hello? Your electricity has been topped up. Thank you. Oh. Okay. No, Susanna. The winner of tonight's lottery still hasn't called in. Well, Jim, I'm afraid we're getting nearer that time. It's not often we have to do this, but a reshuffle the number, the number. might be in order. No, don't reshuffle! I'm afraid you're right, Susanna. A reshuffle is protocol. Don't reshuffle! I've got it here! Well, I suppose we could no, give the that person at the home number, the number, the just number. one more chance. Very well. Uh, yes. The numbers for yes. tonight were four... 17, okay. 18, Come on. 21, and 28. That is 4, 17, 18, 21, and 28. Jim? 
Ah, sorry, folks. <laughs> All this commotion must be going to my head. The final number was 27. Again, that final number, 27. Finally! <laughs> the winner calling in. Hello? What is your name, lucky winner? Dave! <laughs> Dave! Oh, I can't believe this! Dave! Dave! <laughs> Dave! We are so happy to hear that elation in your voice. Tell us, how is this going to change your life? Well, I mean, <laughs> 40 million! <laughs> 40 freaking million! <laughs> Name? Robert Henschen. Robert... Robert... Robert Henschen. That's 8.50 for the day. Two, but I worked 12 hours. Three, four, five, six, seven, hey man, I worked eight, 12 hours. <laughs> Spend it wisely then. show for you tonight. In this program, we'll be meeting a few of the lucky winners as they tell us how their lives have been changed by such a massive influx of money. Before we get into that, a reminder that this week's lottery is a record-breaking £45 million with scratch cards worth up to £1 million. Now though, here's Sean, who met with Grace earlier this week. Thanks, Jim. On to our next winner, we have Grace Clover. Grace. What are you going to do with the money that you've won? I have booked a one-way ticket to the Grand Canary Island. Wow. Does someone want to give it to charity? Sounds nice for you, Grace. I don't care about that. And how many times have you played the lottery before? This is my first time. It's so easy. Her first time? Yeah. Her first time. And she's won. It's, it's so easy. And now I'm going on holiday. We can tell. Welcome back to Weekly Lottery Winners. We've got last week's oh, winner. Go to hell. Gregory Wishbone. What did you say to people back home, Gregory? Uh, um, guys, just hang in there. Look, I won I this week. I played last week as well. This week, next oh. week could be you. So honestly, God always rewards those people who are patient. And there's enough fortune to go around, so... We're on our way to meet our final lottery winner. This guy, you can just tell. This one's quite nice. Like how big an opportunity this was for him. You just you would never have this kind of opportunity before. I won! I won! What does it feel? 
So good, so good. How easy was it to win? I won it so easy. I have so much money now. Let's go. What times have you played the Lord before? This is my first time. It's so easy. First time? First time. No fucking way. I won. I won. I have booked a one-way ticket to the Grand Canary Island. Come on. Come on. Come on. Cut! <gasps> For fuck's sake! That's your fourth fuck up today. The lines are clear as day, mate. I. Let's take ten. You've got to start performing, mate. We're already scraping the barrel, as it is with this rehearsal schedule. I cast you for a reason. Don't make me regret it. Fuck. Fuck indeed. It... is that...? Yep. <laughs> wow. I, I mean, think of what we could buy! Oh no! Tell me you are not on another fucking break. You love... I mean, every time I come into this fucking room, it's, oh, let's check the sound levels. Oh, why don't we adjust the framing, eh? Oh, let's just take another break. Then we can just piss the money away it has been so lovingly gifted to this shitty student film. I swear, this is the last time I let no, your no, mother no, 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 Uncle, listen to me. We, we've had a change of fortune. Oh, why? It better be like a fucking genie in the bottle to make all this shit go away. No, no, it's, it's, it's much better than that. All right. Sorry, sorry, just trying to fix this bulb. Must have blown a fuse. I just think if we keep taking breaks like this, and I know that we've got time, but like, with all this, I just don't see us keeping on top of the schedule. The fuck do you know about the schedule? I do see things, you know, I'm not completely thick. Never said that, darling. I just think, there we go. I just think that if we compacted scene six and seven, it's gone cold. Brew us another, will you, love? I'm dying for a cup of tea, yeah? I'm just going to have to touch up on that grey sheen. Uh, sheen, for... sheen, yeah, 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 yeah. What's going on here? Uh, <laughs> uh well, uh... I, it, it's nothing really, it's nothing for you to worry about him, honestly. Listen, why don't you just come over here and show me the looks for next week, yeah, okay? So we'll okay, I agree. Wow. I mean, this is going to change everything. We can even pay my uncle back. And still have half left and finally buy that new lens finally do that car chase scene we've we got to share the money out what the winnings <laughs> we have to share it wait you do realize that kind of money is life-changing for 95 percent of the crew <laughs> of something massive here. Now, I mean, the film is great as is. You know, I, I really mean that, just just stellar, but this, this could launch us into greatness. This film? Yes. I don't know. Um, it's not my finest work, put it that way, okay? Starting to think maybe I should have packed this all in 
years ago, really. Uh, child prodigy and all that. Don't believe the hype. Now I'm fucking stuck here playing myself. Oh, come on. Hey, you know, you've been doing great. But look at this. This ticket is our key to greatness, my friend. Please, just, just trust me. Because with this thing, we'll go as far as we want. Win as many awards as you can imagine. Take us to the Oscars, further. I just need a minute. Sorry, can I just... I'm just gonna go. Yeah, I... what are you even looking at? Zip, nada, it doesn't fucking exist, idiot. Now fuck off. Yeah, no, just got it. Right, give me that ticket. Uncle. Oh, oh, oh. really? Give me the fucking ticket, right? I've got a dog to walk and a real job to get back to. What? Okay? Uncle, I was thinking that we could... What? What? Spend it on the film? Spend it on the film? Yeah. What are you, a fucking idiot? Yeah, you take half, you'd still get your money back. My money back? Get my fucking money back! My fucking money paid for the thing! Uh, here, let me give you a reality check, son, okay? Reality check, okay? Do you know how much you've spent on coffee in this absolute shitty film? 4k, 4 grand uh, on coffee, uh, oh, occasionally a mocha, mocha 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 occasionally, right? Yeah. And on catering, 32 grand, 32 grand, and I'm going to make a film, right? Not doing some sort of dining experience, right? Because something like it was just there on his chair, and then sure. he's like, Yeah, and he's being really weird, like, like he's covering up, he didn't want me to see it. Like, I genuinely think, like, I know it's like, it sounds weird, but like, like, mm -hmm. it's a big deal. Yeah, it's huge, and you can tell, like, it's different. Like, I don't know, it, it's got like a different thickness to it, and like, like, it just, I feel like it is the way it looks, but like, it's got those, you know, those big gold letters on it. And the like, bold kind. Yeah, the bold kind. Shit. I did think they looked off. You know, looking through that lens, that was the best acting I've seen him do all film. I mean, his face literally lit up. Amazing what money can do to people. Well, we better go stake our claim then. No, I don't. What do you mean, no? I promised them I wouldn't tell. <laughs> <laughs> Look, when you've been in the industry as long as I have, you'll realise not to make promises like that. Only promise what you can do, yeah? Oh, and I must say, great cup of tea. Okay. I was trying to accept the fact that I had thrown 500 grand down the shitter. But now, now, I took the opportunity to salvage something from this shit show. You know? Even if my family was going to court, they would put me in a home tomorrow. Tell me that it's not been clear enough. We are not spending it on the film. Now, why the fuck is the ticket not in my hand? You are kidding me. Oh, you've planned this. Yes. Planned oh, this? Ah, your boy's off with a ticket. You. You. Shit. Oh.
rubbish about a ticket then? It's none of your concern, okay? No, no, no. I think you'll find it very <sighs> much is. And how's that? What's that? I've been on this set for six months. Getting early, six, seven, sometimes earlier. I stand the top, a fucking ladder, all day, fiddling with bolts, wires, on the verge of being electrocuted. Meanwhile, you waltz in here in your flash fucking coat and demand all of it. I don't think so. You want fire? Is that it? You can't just threaten him with that. I can't. You're just dead. Oh, 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 What are your chances of happiness? Do you have the drive and determination in order to be rich? What does it take to get that lucky ticket? How badly do you want its fortune? Well, Jim, there's only one way to find out. Ha <laughs> ha, that's quite right, Susanna. Welcome to the Weekly Lottery. Now, before we read the numbers this week, we have a very special guest joining us in the studio. That's right, Jim. Now, I am sure many of you at home will have seen the terrible news about the fire that ravaged the West Glasgow Film Studios earlier this month. Terrible. Indeed. Unknown to the wider public, the studio is where this show, The Weekly Lottery, originated from. And whilst the cause of the fire is yet to be determined, we can bring you some insider information. That's quite right, Susanna. Production company Fortune Films were shooting in the main studio the day it burned down. Incidentally, they were making a film about the lottery. And that's why when we heard that our next guest volunteered to come to the show, we couldn't resist. We spoke to studio runner Robin Hinchin earlier today. <laughs> Miss Hinchin. Welcome to the show. Oh, call me Robin, please. Um, no, thanks for having me here. Yeah, um, I've always been a big fan of the show. Now, Robin, tell us, we've heard that the film you were making is about the lottery. Is that right? Yeah. Um, I mean, on, on the surface, yeah. Um, but I, th I think for me it was more about the willpower to overcome a gambling addiction. Cheery one here. <laughs> <laughs> so, Robin, tell us, what was it like being a runner on this film? Um, uh, yeah, no, it's, it's a great job. Uh, and I, I got on with my co-workers very well. <laughs> Amazing. Tell us, Robin, what do you think caused the fire? You know, I wasn't actually in the room when it happened, but you know, I wouldn't be surprised if it was something to do with all those lottery tickets we bought. You didn't use prop tickets? Well, mostly, yeah, but, you know, there were a few real ones, and either way, they're just paper, thin, you know, flammable. I, I hate to point fingers, but what with all those hot lights? And there was always makeup stuff left lying around, and some of those things can be really flammable. And the producer did love a cigarette. I don't know. I guess we'll never know. Well, this certainly does sound like a lot of options. Those are some very serious allegations that you've mentioned there. And we do know the lead actor was also seriously hurt in the incident. Yeah, that was unfortunate. Just to clarify, you're saying that the producer of the film smoked on set? Unbelievable, isn't it? Tell me, out of curiosity, how many tickets did you buy? Uh, about 50 real ones, I think. Hmm, and I wonder if any of them were winning at all. Hmm. Well, I guess if there was one, it would have been burned in the fire. Shame. You don't have one, do you? <laughs> You're no lottery winner. <laughs> No, I think we would know a lottery winner when we see one. If there ever was a piece of fortune in there, 
that perished that day in the flames. Now, moving on. Hairless pets or works of the devil. We sent Sean to the East Midlands well, to Well, except this one. This, this is, is incredible. This is amazing. Robin, please tell us oh how long have you had this? And when did you know it was a winning ticket? On, on this very show, you've, you've actually brought I'm a winning speechless. ticket. 35 oh years goodness. I've done this and, and never I have I seen never, anything ever, such a... This is incredible. This is the best day of my life. It's life-changing, Robin. Amazing. It's absolutely life-changing. Your days of a runner are well on show. Tell us, what I'm are you gonna... planning to do with this life-changing no sum of money? Unbelievable. Unbelievable.